as you lower the head section of your elevator into place, make sure that you engage your hopper feed section into the abrasive valve. And now that you have it in the proper position, you can start to install your nuts and bolts. shaft and the shiv. Through the adjusting rod, put your nut on there, your washer and your nut. On. Tighten them up. Actually, you don't want to tighten them completely because you want to leave them a little bit loose so that you can adjust your adjusting rods up and down for tensioning your belt. Um, after you put these on and run them down a little bit, um, then you want to tighten up your set screws on the other side. You then tighten up your set screws on your bearing on this side. And make sure, um, it's probably a good rule of thumb that after your assembly you go around and check all the set screws on the entire machine as they will vibrate during shipping and possibly come loose. And you should probably also check them at least once a month during your general maintenance. That's now right. that you have your shaft in place, you want to adjust your tensioning rods for the belt. Um, there's two tensioning rods, one on each side. You adjust them evenly, adjust this side up, and you adjust this side also. You want to bring them up equally. Now to check for proper tensioning of your belt. Reach down into your elevator section, grab a hold of the belt, pull it to the wall, let it go, and if it does not come back and strike the wall, your tensioning should be okay. Now to install the dust collection tube that goes from the main body of the machine up to the elevator section for the air wash. Install. Just like that sleeve up in there. Position this one over. Final step of the elevator section installation is to install the dribble line.
The next step is to install the air cylinder that operates the vertical lift door. Now to install the nut that holds the cylinder in place. Cylinder, install the locking nut. And the final thing to do in the installation is to install the air hoses. Number two, you have now completed the installation of the air cylinder. Now that you have your dust collector in place, you will bring in the motor wires into your control cabinet. They connect accordingly. Now When you get ready to add your media to the system, all you have to do is push collector start or and or abrasive reclaim start, whichever it's labeled as. That'll start your elevator system and your dust collector. You then either use a bucket to get out your media and just put it right into the barrel of the machine. And the abrasive will flow right through the mill belt holes and back up through the reclaim system. And now that you've filled your machine up with media and you'd like to set, check the blast pattern, um, you can take a piece of ductwork or a flat piece of steel, whichever you'd like, set it back into the machine so that it is, is directly underneath the blast wheel. We're going to use a little piece of angle iron to wedge the piece of ductwork back into the mill so that it is directly underneath the blast wheel housing. And now that you've done that, the next step is to start your collector or abrasive reclaim system. The next step is to manually hold the safety lock switch and turn your selector switch from the door to the closed position and push on the door closed button. After your door is closed, you can then turn the mill drive selector switch to the off position. That way your mill will not run, but you can still run the blast wheel. Next, you push the blast wheel start button. Set your abrasive timer to approximately 30 seconds. This may vary depending upon the type of meter that you're using. But the 30 seconds is a good starting time. It's now sound and the brace of brake is on, which helps stop the blast wheel. When the horn stops sounding, that means that it is safe to open up your golf shot glass machine door. You then turn your selector switch to the open position and your door will open automatically. Now in order to check to see exactly where the hot spot is on your blast pattern, you put one hand at each end of the ductwork and work towards the middle. You will feel the hottest part, which it should be in the middle. If it is in the middle, then your blast pattern is correct. 